Hi everyone, this is Melody, and um, this video will be um, Dollar Tree. So I got a few things at Dollar Tree, but um, look at these cute little guys. I have picked these little people up, snow people. I love snow people. Snowmen, snow people, snow ladies, snow babies. And I just thought I'd bring them along today and um, have them in the background to make you happy. Because that's what it's all about. Being happy and enjoying the season to the best of your ability. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to try to do a few videos today because I'm off. But um, just so you know, I didn't like go out. Well, I, you really don't even have to explain yourself if you go shopping. But anyway, this is shopping that I've been doing off and on probably the last two months. And I just felt like showing you today, you know. So here we go. Anyway, um, so a while back I posted about the Dollar Tree ornaments and um, painting them with craft paint. This paint I used um, actually spray paint from Walmart and it was about 96 cents and it was a flat white. So as you can see, it's um, it doesn't have like any luster or anything like that, but these were glittered ornaments. So you have that texture going on there. So for, you know, people who are heavily into mixed media and the more rustic look, um, this is what it looks like, the glittered ornaments when you spray paint them. Okay. Let's see. Let me find one that I craft painted. Okay. Then this is what it looks like if you use... Uh, just regular, you know, 97 cent craft paint. I think I used uh, maybe apple barrel or plaid. I don't know. Um, this one was a glittered ornament as well. You can still see some of the glitter, but it's on the back, so it doesn't matter. And um, there's a hole, so I'm going to probably just run maybe seam binding or something like that through it. But anyway, you can kind of see the difference so to speak probably because the craft paint has a little bit more um, not glimmer or shimmer but more like maybe a little bit of a gloss to it as opposed to the flat spray paint however doing it with the flat spray paint is much easier because you can just lay them down on like wax paper or newspaper or something like that and just spray paint several at one time whereas with the craft paint you know you're doing it by hand with a brush so this was a technique of covering it. Uh, I put gesso down on it first, and then I covered it with white craft paint, and then I went back over it with blue craft paint. Then I went back over it in certain areas, daubing the white craft paint. And I'm kind of on the fence. I like I like both ways of doing it. But, you know, that's just something you can do. Then I went through, this one was um, the same technique as the blue one, uh, white and green craft paints. But then I went back and I glittered it with uh, a little bit of chunky glimmer dust. And I really like that. And then, you know, since this one, this particular one is a butterfly, you could go back and add like a Tim Holtz key or something like that. You know, you can make it as grungy or as girly or as feminine or shabby as you want. This is um, a painted one, okay? This is a another spray painted one. And again, you can see kind of like the flat versus what you do with craft paint. But I really like this guy. He's prancing. Do, 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 do. There you go. So that's just something I wanted to show. Oh, I glittered some too, I forgot. So there's lots of chunky um, clear glitter on that. Here's a reef that they had. And the thing about this reef was so funny. Um, well, you know, cool is I found it and it came in a two pack. And then you guys have all been using the Tim Holtz reef die cut uh, big Sizzix die. And I found this reef and it, it looks just like that. It was what a weird crafty winky dink and then here's the reef without the paint it had this glitter on the back and I kind of scraped some of it off and then I just mainly fooled around with the front of it and I left bits of the original glitter but I uh, also went in with a clear glue I think I used glossy accents and then I dipped this in a mound 
of my own iridescent glitter that I liked, chunky glitter that I liked much better. So you can just see the difference, okay? So there you go with that. Now, on to what I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Here's another two ornaments. This is the original. This is one I fooled around with. Not sure if I like that or not. But anyway, at the Dollar Tree, um, I found these the other day. Look how big this box is. Is this not cute? This is cute as is for gift giving. And it measures, let's see. It is roughly about nine inches by three and, three and three quarters or three and a half, something like that. Very good size for gift giving. But, I mean, how fun is this going to be to alter? Whoops, sorry. And that's what the inside looks like. They had other prints. I got Baby Munchkin, some Doc McStuffins stickers for her stocking. How cool is that? I finally found the... um snowflakes everyone's been altering so I have those for next year or maybe this year if I get to it I found some different reindeer they only had one set but these are pretty big look compared to my hand and they're um, very flat so these are gonna look cool that's the front of it actually these are gonna look cool I'm going to adhere these to a canvas I don't know uh, what color scheme I'm gonna use yet I don't think I'm going to leave them the gold glitter but I will be adhering those to a canvas. Very cool. Um, I found this cute snowman gift bag. And I'm not going to use it for gift giving. I am going to make myself a mixed media canvas. And somehow or another, this snowman is going to go on this canvas. And I may not uh, get it finished in time for 2013, but I have a jump start on it for 2014 because, you know, Christmas can be all year long. Christmas is about enjoying the season, enjoying the reasons for the season. And, you know, it doesn't really matter if you celebrate it in December or if you celebrate it in January. And then I found this humongous bag. I bought two. One's going to um, hold my mother-in-law's gifts, but one is going to get cut up. And I think I'm going to make a canvas. And I may even make a Christmas card out of it. Because, you know, I could use one side for the canvas and one side to cut up for Christmas cards or tags. I just love it because it was snowmen. And they're bright and they're cheerful and they're happy. And I love it. So, that's my...